Welcome, hey, everybody. Uh, trying to look nice for everybody today. We have a picture of Clifford that we want to do, and I think you're going to like it. He's the big red dog. There is no bigger or redder dog in the world than Clifford. So, hey, let's get started. All right, Clifford the big red dog. So, let's start off again. Uh, I kind of did a sketch and put underneath here, uh, kind of lay out how big I needed to be. And um, I'm going to show you now, so you can kind of see, there's our Clifford, the big red dog. All right, that was my practice. And I'm going to lay this here. That way you can follow along with me. So make this easy. Uh, Clifford's nose is kind of like an oval, but it's pointed down at the bottom. So I'm going to come up and around and back in. All right, not perfect, not a problem. Remember, we're practicing. Coming off the top in the middle of the nose, we're just going to make a line slanting upward and it's going to wrap around into the O of the eye and back down. Put a rainbow inside the eye and then you can go ahead and color that in. His other eye has to match in size, but it's kind of tipping the opposite direction. With a rainbow inside. And notice the rainbow doesn't go the whole way across. It kind of comes down in the middle, right? And color that in. Great. Okay. Now, underneath here, um, we're going to draw his, his mouth. So, let's start off with a little cheek, uh, like a little dimple, right under the eye. Okay? Now, the idea would be to connect his um, snout with the marker by making a series they use. So, start in the middle of this nose at the bottom, make a long U coming out, and then a smaller U shape coming up and in to that smile. Good. And then we're going to bring it around. It's more like a C shape here. It's like a big C and up. All right. Let's go ahead and make uh, his, his tongue hanging out. So the next step here is to come down with a line, come in from the edge of his mouth a little bit, and come down and curve at the bottom just a little bit. Make it like a rainbow shape coming down here. This is the top of the tongue, okay? And the bottom of the tongue is going to follow that and stop. To make the other half of the tongue, you're going to make a C shape again coming down and connecting. Draw a little line for the side of his mouth and another little line for the edge of his, this is like his cheek over here. You can color this in black, you can color this in black, whatever colors you're using I guess it doesn't matter. And then to make his bottom chin you're just going to make a line come down and around and look like it's about the same thickness as that on the other side. Okay. He's going to have a collar over here. and. Um, the collar kind of going to look like comes out just a little above his chin over here. It's going to come out a little bit here, over and down. And that makes a rectangle shape, but it's hidden behind the mouth. All right. Now let's make the top of his head. The top of the head is just a big rainbow, except for this rainbow kind of curves in at the bottom. So if I look where it starts, it actually starts right here where the top of his muzzle I think it's a muzzle. The top of his snout, that's what I would call it, a snout. And it would kind of curve up and over the top and then down. And it kind of stops right at the same place that the eye stops. So look at uh, straight across from here, there, all right? And I always look for a comparison. I look for a way of measuring. And this is just going to be like a W shape for his eyebrow here. One this way. This one's over here, actually going off of his forehead. And then he's got three hairs lined up. One, two, three. And now for his ear sticking out. Remember, you want the ears about the same size and thickness. A little bit down from the eyebrow, just a little bit. Come down, come out, make a curve back in and it hides behind the end of his nose. The other ear has to be about the same size. I'll make it come down and back in. Notice how it's a little thinner here, 
than it is near the end, right? Now, the back of his head just kind of looks like it hides behind his ear, comes out the other side, and comes in. And notice it's sticking out a little bit, all right? Um, <clears throat> if I was showing you the practice drawing I did, I realized his body's more shaped like a bean. And so if you can kind of think of a bean shape and uh, draw this, I think you'll have a little more success. So we're going to make the body come down and way out, all right? It comes way out here but not too close to the bottom of the page. So we gotta keep that in mind, all right? Um, and then we're gonna bring the chest around this way and it just look like one big bean shape. Matter of fact, let's just do it with a pencil here real quick so you can get a good size and then you can erase it or trace over it with your marker. Did you see how that's like a bean shape? So if you practice that a few times with your pencil and you get the right size, then you can come back in with your marker and kind of trace over it, all right? To make it easier on, on everybody, I'll just do it with pencil. Hopefully you can see it pretty good. And let's go ahead, uh, let's start with the front of the chest, all right? And we're gonna come in and come down, 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 down until about the back of the tongue, right? Well, let's go a little further, right here, okay? And right at the back of the tongue, so straight down. And what we want to do here is stop the Sharpie, and we're going to draw a leg in here. Our leg is going to have a little bit of a curl to it. It's going to come out and stop. And then the back part of that same leg is going to be hidden by the toes of the back foot. All right, we got to make room for that. So we're going to come down, all the way down to where the body is, and stop. So if you made that bean, and you have that line drawn through the leg, Stop when you get back to the bean shape, okay? We're gonna leave it that way for now. All right, let's move on to that back leg so we can do some overlapping here with the foot. Draw your back coming down and around and stop. Now here's where we don't need to add, continue to draw that bean shape, okay? Here's where we're gonna draw the back of his foot, which is gonna be a backward C. Okay, and that's all the lower the foot's gonna be. Then we're gonna draw a line almost straight across and we make three C shapes. One, maybe this one's more like a U. Two, and this one's like a, like a long C. Look, well, let's just make it connect all the way around. And three, all right. And this leg is more of a, a lowercase r. It kinda comes up and down good now you can erase that right we can do that here in a minute for the front paw now and we haven't drawn we're gonna make our foot come out and over one C two C three C well that's like an L like an L it's like a sad C sorry never bragged about my drawing writing skills okay let's draw a line down this will be his other side, foot and leg. It's hiding behind the toes, and then it's a little bit wider, so right underneath the other edge of the tongue, draw a straight line down, and then you kind of curl that foot in, remember? Or that leg in. That leg and this leg, they should be about the same size. You with me? All right, and here, C shapes or sad L shapes. One, going behind the toe, two, and three. Great. Now all we have is the tail, which happens to be like a letter S. So right about on the back end right here, we're just gonna make a an S line. And another S line. A little bit of a less of an S line. And he's shaking. So we put these little lines, these are little action lines. They show that his ears are flopping around. You could put one here on the tail or something like that. And you say, wait a minute, that's just a dog. How do we know it's big, big Clifford, you know? Uh, let's make, we can make a lot of little things. We could just do a little, a couple little flowers down here. If you made the flowers tall, then it would seem like he was a normal size, right? A couple little flowers hanging out down here, like cloud shapes. Put little dots in them. And... You don't even have to put stems on them. They just look like they're growing out of the ground. 
little leaf here, maybe there, another little flower over here, little leaves sticking out. Add your grass down there. You could draw a little person down there. You could draw yourself down there. All right, but that's Clifford. That's about the easiest we can get making Clifford. Ah, I was so excited to be done with that drawing and I forgot to color it. We gotta color this thing. I gotta get out red. So light red, medium red, dark red, and black. His eyes are white. Sharpie's black. That's pretty much it. Red and red and red and black. Let's get it out. Let's get it going. Here we go. Clifford, the big red dog. Thanks for drawing with me today. Hope you guys had fun. Remember, keep on practicing because practice makes progress. And stay safe and healthy. I'll see you soon.